All righty, and we are back with again Mr. Terry Cavanaugh and Mr. Robin Amy, or Amy, I'm sorry. Uh, so, you know, good morning. Welcome to the show. Glad Thank you guys you. are here. Nice to be with y'all. Thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and ask that tantalizing question that you probably get asked a million times. What type of music do you guys play that could possibly include a accordion and a baritone? I don't know. <laughs> well, we're sp at this time of the year, we're specialists in German music and Oktoberfest music. All so. right. Very nice. Now, what do y'all do for the rest of the year? I'm actually a jazz musician. Oh, wow. Well, that's a totally different thing. It really is. Yeah, I travel out to California once a month for my job at the Monterey Jazz Festival. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I do lessons in schools to play. And I'm still playing German music a lot more with myself. We do a duo also and work and then I switch sides sometimes and play French music and Italian music and Wow, y'all have some <laughs> uh, some various backgrounds for sure. So what drew you to music? I think just I think everybody is born with a creative streak. So um, of course I started in high in middle school band, so that sort of sucked me in. But I always dreamed of being a rock star. Never thought I'd be playing polka music. <laughs> but they make you pick an instrument that, that everybody plays in the band and marching band and so it just it just stuck. And sadly, electric guitar is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, but I have it now. <laughs> yeah, we actually do it in the band. We're, oh, we play right. all kinds of music and, and uh, try to do something for everybody and get them involved. And, uh, you know, we can play the more modern music and get folks on the dance floor that might not come otherwise. But then once they're there, we trap them. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you to see what a polka rendition of a modern song would be. <laughs> that would be a fun. lot of fun. It's, it would be. <laughs> Then you should like, come out tonight. You're sitting around just like, I know that song. What? <laughs> yes. Um, now, I, I understand that both of you are from Texas. So, besides Oktoberfest, um, have y'all ever been to Coleman before? Um, I came here about 20 years ago. I'm the band leader, so I'm always looking for new jobs and knew about Oktoberfest here because we'd been playing at, at Huntsville for a while and at Redstone Arsenal up there, Oktoberfest. And um, and so I called Miss Elaine at the museum, and um, or actually there was another gentleman that was uh, fielding the questions before Elaine. And the first time that I came here was with our trumpet player, and we just came for a day or two and made an appearance, and it just evolved from there, where they hired the whole band oh, wow. after that. And, oh, wow. Um, that, that was, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago, I think. Okay. So. And it's just snowballed since then? Yeah. And they keep getting bigger for the fest hall events and adding more and more and <laughs> it's become a bigger deal. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, so how long have y'all been playing your respective instruments? I started when I was 12 on, actually baritone was my first instrument. And uh, I switched to trombone in college. And then I added guitar and bass and vocals along the way. Wow. Seven for me. Seven. And can you tell us how you came to play the accordion? It's such an interesting instrument. Yeah, it's an interesting story, too. There used to be big accordion studios all around the country. This before Elvis hit the big time. And accordion was kind of the go-to instrument for a lot of young people that wanted to play music. And there happened to be one of these music studios left in Houston where I lived. And they called up at the house. And my mom answered the phone. And they asked her if she could name three American presidents. And she was successful. So... We won the free use of an accordion and a month's worth of lessons and oh, that's so got cool. hooked right in there. Wow, what a neat story. I would have never won anything like that, so that's... <laughs> <it's> <laughs> I can never win competitions. Well, it's the moment they asked me the question, I'd just freeze up and probably hang up on them. <laughs> <laughs> and then where would I be today? <laughs> Not with an accordion. So. Uh, but that's, that's one of those instruments. It's, it always looks really complicated to see people play them. Because oh, you I have think to be it, a genius. There's, well, I can imagine. I mean, there's like 10 million buttons on that thing, and I can barely use a keyboard on a computer. And that's <laughs> supposed to be the simplest thing ever. Well, what's y'all's favorite part of Oktoberfest? The people, actually. We have, I mean, we always think, talk about it coming up uh, in the van. Like, we, we remember there's always this one family here that's very interactive with us, and they come back every single year. So it's really the community here in Coleman that we like so much. Good, yes. We are a very small, tight-knit community, so. Mm -hmm. oh. It makes things fun, at least. Because <laughs> at least everything that you do here will immediately be remembered by your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> it's all memorable. Oh, it's all of it. Everything's a memory, regardless of if you want it to be or not. So that's, that's the way to look at it. Now, you guys 
you guys play a lot of music. Do you, would could we tantalize you into maybe playing something for us today? You happen to be in luck. Look at here. We've got some instruments. Oh, look at <laughs> what a coincidence right that you guys are to have instruments. All right. Well, awesome. Um, we're going to set up for that. So. I'm going to move to stand up. Here's a tune. Uh, I think this is the most popular song in my hometown in New Braunfels, Texas. It's called the Red Raven Polka. And seems like every band in town plays it, but not like this because we've got Robin here. <laughs> standing next to me when I embarrass myself. So. No, <laughs> you're, you're, you're good. Well, no, y'all sure are you incredible. You guys with us in party 7 to 10 and I will, yes. um, we, we'll, we'll show you some dance. Yeah, and maybe I won't okay. be attached to cables this That's time. Right. So. <laughs> 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 so you don't have to fall over. Now. We do, we do. <laughs> Thank you. 